I figure a half hour to drive to the theater, we could get there about 6.15, we can order your bagel. Bagel? What? What? It's talking about locks and a bagel. Okay, can you see that I'm busy? All right, but I'm just letting you know that it's a quarter to five. You promised to take me to the Alamo Draft House for the 720 showing of Serenity. I told you I would drive you when I am done. I'm just saying. All I want to do is order a bucket of beer before they turn out the lights. I can't watch a movie at the Alamo Draft House without a bucket of beer. That's simply un-American. Who else was present at the scene of the disaster? Oh, did I tell you I had this tick guy checked out? Let me guess. You talked to your boy, Ed Wolfram and Hart. Yeah, I tapped every source I had. FBI, CIA, Interpol, the Vatican Black Book. No one knows anything about him. Not one trace. Apparently he doesn't exist. Janet, I'm seriously starting to think that this obsession you have with the tick is not healthy for you. I mean, have you seriously looked at this guy's outfit? Let's just say he's got a small utility belt, if you know what I mean. What weapons were used to combat the assailant? He threw a dump truck at Apocalypse Cow. Big deal, he works out. A dump truck. Listen, babe, I watched Tom Welling throw a tractor once. Believe me, it's not that impressive. I had everything covered till this big blue idiot blows in from nowhere and turns everything upside down. Oh, I get it. Blowing, turning upside down. Now I see why you're jealous. I tell you what, we could talk about it all night after the movie. If you know what I mean. Grrrr. Arg. With a G.